So in today's uh, video, what we are discussing is binary tree. So binary tree, first of all, the binary tree that what you know, like with degrees 0 and 2, is not actually binary tree. See, binary tree can have degree 0 and 2. That is what I said, right? So it has 0 and 2. So this is actually a strict binary tree. It is a strict binary tree. It is not binary tree. So what is binary tree? What is the degree it should have? It can have 0. It can have 1. It can have 2. So this is also a binary tree. This is actually a binary tree. So what we were discussing that is 0 and 2. Those are with degree 0 and 2. Those are strict binary tree. So let me draw uh, binary tree again. So it goes like it will have like 2, it can have 2 or it can have 1. So this is also binary tree. But it is not a strict binary tree. So this has a degree what? 1. It has a degree 1. So it has a degree 2. So this has zero, uh, degree 0. So this is also a binary tree. And this has a degree 2. So it should be 0, 1 or 2. This is binary tree. So what if it has degree 0 and 2? That is also binary tree. That is strict binary tree. So let us jump to the next uh, topic that how to find the number of nodes in the number of uh, trees that you can form with given n value. That means they will be giving some value. See, for example, they will give n is equal to 3. So you need to form all the different binary tree that you can form. But remember that what I am discussing now is all about unlabeled binary tree. What is unlabeled binary tree? This, this what I drawn here, right? This is unlabeled. So here uh, I am not, I did not label anything. Means the nodes has no representation of them uh, of themselves. If for example, I will write here B, I will write C, I will write D, I will write E, F, G. These are what? These are labeled binary, tree. right? So let us now restrict our uh, topic to unlabeled binary tree. After at the last of video. We need to add some small thing that we can find uh, so that we can find the for uh, the result for labeled binary tree. So my objective is to find the number of trees that I can form with n is equal to 3. That is especially the binary trees that I can form. See what I do is I will do, I will simply draw what all I can do. Like I can form like this, right? I can form like this. This is also a binary tree. So with n is equal to 3 means it should have 3 nodes. So then what I do is I can draw like this also, right? So it can have instead of left side, it is having a right side. So this is also a separate binary tree. It is a different binary tree. Again, this is a tree. Again, if you don't know that uh, left side and right side, if you know child, right, you should be knowing what is child. So what is F and G? It is a child of C. What is F? It is a left child of C. What is G? It is a right child of C. So remember that. Again, I can draw with for n is equal to 3, I can draw like this, right? So now what I am doing is I am going to change the node position. So yeah. Now for n is equal to 3, what I got is 5. That means t of 3 is equal to 5. That means for n is equal to 3, I can form 5 different binary trees. Right? It is not strict binary tree. I can form 5 different binary tree. So, for n is equal to what? If for n is equal to 4, we can form 14 binary trees. You can check. You can check by drawing all the sets of binary tree. So, what I am, my intention is to find a formula that directly will give me the result of how many trees that I can form if n is given. So it is so much simple. The formula you will be heard of that is t of n is nothing but 2n. 
cn n plus 1 that is kettle on number so let me solve this one for t of 3 it is 6 c 3 divided by 4 right so 6 c, 6 c 3 is nothing but if you know basic mathematics so it goes like so 6 factorial divided by 6 minus 3 factorial multiplied by 3 factorial right and again further divided by 4 so if you solve this you will get 20 so 20 by 4 is what this 5 so i got the reason now you can try for any number of n i can tell you that for n is equal to 4 you will get what you will get 14 so for n is equal to 5 you will get 42 so you will get these uh, values you can check in your uh, by doing manually or by using some websites that will give directly the result for catalon if we if you send the n value it will give out the these values or it is better to do manual so so for n is equal to 0 means there is no node so how many possible ways you can arrange that node means there is no node so that is one possible way that you can arrange that means you don't arrange itself right let me write another procedure how you can arrive to this answer and before that let me show you another thing here let me uh, okay this is what my these are my five different binary trees so what is the maximum height of any tree the height is 2 right that is 0 1 2 height is 0 uh, 2 so maximum height it can go is what 2 or maximum level it can have is what 3 you know in previous class we discussed height and uh, level so how many trees has maximum height that is till 2 it will reach i have 1 2 3 4 it will reach only till 1 height 1 so we have four trees of maximum height so i will write the formula for that also for n is equal to 3 what is the maximum uh, the number of trees that you can form with a maximum height for n is equal to 3 that is so much simple uh, it is nothing but 2 to the power of n minus 1 so here n is equal to 3 right so 2 to the power of 2 into power of 2 is 4 so i got the result as 4 so if you take for any n value we are going to get the same result so there is no doubt in that so here also i got 4 so now let's see what is the another way that i can count i can count this uh, binary uh, number of binary uh, binary tree that can be formed so for that what i do is i will write n here I like write Catalan uh, formula here. So Catalan formula is this one. So let me put, uh, put a line here. So for zero, it is one. As I said, there is no node. One way is, there is one way that you do nothing. So if there is one node, what is the number of ways? There is only one way that you can simply arrange like this. Then for two, what is the value? For two, it is two. Means, see. It is logical. I will take like this or I will take like this. So these are the two binary tree that you can form with n is equal to 2. Now for 3 we have discussed what is the result? That is 5, right? Then for 4, what is the result? I said you it will come out to be 14, right? Then for 5, it is 42. So for 6, what is the value? What will be the value? <coughs> For that, let us use recursion. So, my formula will go like this. For t of n, my formula is summation i to 1 and it will go till n. Right? Then t of i minus 1 and multiplied by 
P of n minus i. So this is my formula. So if you substitute n here, means T of n that is 6, you will get i is equal to 1 to 6. You go and while going you need to, uh, it is recursive right. If you want to get this value, for example, I need to write uh, n minus i that is 6 minus i. So for first time i will be 1. So t will be 0. So t is 0. Uh, initially, if I split this uh, equation, what it becomes is t of 0 multiplied by t of 6 minus i that is t of 5. So plus t of 1 you can check this one it will come out to be like this uh, like this only for next time i is equal to 2 so 2 minus 1 is what 1 6 minus 2 is what 4 so let me write what we are going to get so t of 2 t of 3 then t of 1 3 then t of 4 then t of 4 then t of 5. See, it is increasing 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This should decrease 5, 4, 3. This is 2. And this is 1. And next, the last is this t of 5 and t of 0. So, this is what if you split and, and recursively you will call for this answer. So, t of 0 is a base condition for me, t of 0 is 1, t of 1 is 1, these are my base condition if you take, then by recursion you will get t of 5, so substitute this value, so you can solve this and you will get result as 132, or directly you use Catalan number, then also you will get 132, so this is another method, so now let us stop our discussion to unlabeled trees, let us move our discussion to labeled trees. So, as I said, for n is equal to 3 has these many possibilities, right? So, let us copy, let, let me copy these things. So, I will copy this. Copy, then what I do is I will paste this here. So, this is for what? This is for n is equal to 3. So, for unlabeled, more specifically, I am telling you so for labeled imagine i have labeled the tree so for this first tree let me label how many ways that i can label let me see so i can label like a b c right what is another possibility what i can do is i can again write this one and i will start from a b c and again, my other possibility would be like, this is again, let me give you another uh, word for these types of trees. Again, this is left skewed tree, left skewed tree, because it appears moving towards left and this is a right skewed tree. So again, I will start from here, A, B, C. And what is another possibility? My other possibility would be like I will start from A here, but I will write B here, then C here, then what I can do? Then my other possibility would be, again, I will draw this one here, then my other possibility is A, B, C I did, right? Right? A, B, C, then I will start A here, but I will write B here, then C. So this is my another possibility. So, let us again uh, write another possibility here. I can write another possibility. So, that possibility is simple. Again, reverse it. A, B, C. This is what we have not written, right? So, A, B, C. So, we have six different trees for this particular shape. If this is a, you consider the shape. Then again, six possible trees that you can draw. So, what is a final formula? Like for unlabeled, you have given me for t of n, it is catalog number. So, for labeled, my formula would be what? 
So for one shape, you are getting six, right? So for one shape, you are getting six. Six means what? What is the relation between n that is n is equal to three and six? That would be n factorial, right? So three into two into one. That is for three factorial, we are going to get three into two into one. That is what one. So for each shape, I will get n factorial shapes. So my complete formula for for label tree that is for label tree I am specifying for label tree that is n plus 1 multiplied by n factorial that is it for each shape I will have n factorial uh, different uh, shapes different trees and for each I need to multiply ni uh, n factorial so I will get the result so this is all about number of right number this is a shape again this is a shape and this will give me totally it will give me number of trees that you can form with labeled values so this is uh, this video talks uh, again uh, we ex uh, what we learned is what is the number of trees that we can form in binary most specifically binary tree it is not strictly binary tree so let us continue our discussion to next video